Would you look at my imported Picasso? And let's add custom paintings to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding courses available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we're we'll back into the one more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom painting, even multiple paintings to our Minecraft mod. And the crazy thing is in 1.21, <laughs> no need for any code. Yes. Now, of course, you could do this via code because we're once again going to have some data JSON files, which of course can be or could be done via code as well. And then data gen. But in our case here, I'm just going to choose to make this manually. In our case, what we want to do is twofold. First of all, in our data folder tutorial mod, we're going to make a new directory and that is going to be called painting underscore variant. Make sure everything here is spelled correctly. Otherwise, it's not going to be good. We're going to create one of those particular JSON files. I'm going to copy over two other ones because you'll see these ones are like, I, I'm super easy. Like, it's crazy how easy these JSON files are. Any painting variant directory. We're going to right click new file and this is going to be the saw underscore them that JSON. And the JSON file looks like this. It's going to have an asset underscore ID. This is going to be the name tutorial mod colon saw underscore them. Fair enough. Then we're going to have a, a height, which is going to be two, and a width, which is going to be two as well. Now, the height and width is in, not in pixels, but in blocks. So if your, in this case, saw them, is going to be a 32 by 32 pixel big image or texture. So we have two by two because one by one would be 16 by 16, right? And then this would be a, what is that? That would be 32 by 16. And then this is 32 by 32. Very straightforward, really nothing crazy. And the same thing is going to go for the other two that I'm going to copy over. Like I said, those JSON files are also available down below, but the same thing, right? Asset ID, this is shrimp, asset ID world, and just different heights and or widths. That's literally it, all we need here. But that's not all that we need in the data folder because we need another thing. In the data folder, right-click new directory called Minecraft. You might have heard of this game before. It is quite popular with both kids and old people. <laughs> old people. Let's not let's not get into this, okay? How old are you, 30? No. Uh, in data Minecraft, we're going to make a new directory called tags. And then inside of there, we'll make another new directory called, once again, painting underscore variant. Make sure that this is written correctly. And then inside of there, another new file, this time a placeable.json. Placeable.json. Look at the spelling. It is super, like, it's so easy to make a mistake right here. Highly recommended to double check it in the GitHub repository as well. Link down below. And in this case here, I'm actually just going to copy over the contents of this tag because, I mean, it, it just points to exactly the different painting variants that we have just added here over here with their names. Very straightforward. And once that is done, there's two more things to do, but now in the assets folder. The first one is the translation. And the translation, as you can see, is painting dot, of course, your mod ID, tutorial mod. And then this is the name of the painting. And then you have to determine the title as well as the author. In our case, the author is always nano attack because, well, nano did all of those paintings. And then the names or the titles of the, those paintings, are, of course, a little bit different. That is really cool. First step. Second step is, of course, the textures. Well, we need the textures of the paintings. Otherwise, how else are we going to display them? So in the textures folder, we're going to right click new directory called painting, painting singular. And inside of there, we're going to add the saw them shrimp and the world PNGs. And there we go. I'm going to add those. And by having added them, we are now done. That is it. That is all we need to do for custom paintings. Super simple. It has been well, the complexity has been reduced quite a bit. Like I said, in theory, this JSON file, right, or the, these JSON files are painting variant data JSON files. You could, in theory, also create those via data gen. That would also, that would work. And when it comes to the tag, while you could definitely data gen this too, you would need a completely new painting variant type data gen, like for the tag, basically. So it would be a little bit you know, strange or a little bit of an annoyance, specifically also because you would need to make like custom keys for them. I really recommend. I mean, even if you're going to add what, like, let's say at 10 paintings plus, maybe you can think about data genning this. But before it is really super simple, like the, the JSON files are so super simple. Just copy them over, change this and then 
you're basically good to go. By the way, the height and width restrictions, I believe, should be 16, if I recall correctly. Uh, let's take a look. Painting variant, I believe, is what the name of the class is. Include non-project items. This is for the decoration over here. Yeah, 16. So that would be 16 blocks, by the way, right? So this is 16 by 16, uh, or as uh, some people might know it, 256 pixels big. Uh, that is a big painting, right? So that would be the max size of a painting. But with all of this done, let's jump in the game and see if it works. All right, I found the deck in Minecraft. By the way, when you're uh, jumping into a new world with those data files, it may or may not sometimes happen that you get a an error or like a message there. That's totally normal. There's no way to disable that, sadly, unless you add another mod. But, you know, basically, you can just ignore it. It's fine. And now we're going to see if we search for nano attack. Look at this. We already can get all of those paintings. And we can also get the painting, by the way. It's going to be the painting that's going to be a random variant. So let's first of all look at those. I mean, come on. This, I mean, just like the intro said, that is Picasso. And you can see random painting variant immediately got one that I wanted. That is absolutely fantastic. And of course, now we're going to cycle through a thousand of them until we get to the one that I actually want. Well, we got the same one again. That's that's great. But I, I actually want this one. Nope. Nope. That's still not it. Nope. Nope. There we go. Finally, let's go. And now this one, there you go. That's a shrimp. So it all works exactly how I would expect it to. And that is custom paintings added to our Minecraft mod. Awesome. As per usual, everything is available for download link below, right in the GitHub repository. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about custom enchantments. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.